So let's check out BL Heli. Here's the changes I made in BL Heli. Connect, plug in the battery, read setup. All right, originally it was a uh, 14.9. I changed it by doing flash all. I chose 1485 multi shot and then I chose crazy fast start, I think. Choose whichever tone you like. Um, these are just different tones. Uh, but even though you're going down to 1485, you get multi shot, multi shots. Uh, faster, you know, frequency uh, refresh rate than uh, one shot. So that's what I chose. And the other thing you'll notice is yours will say reverse, normal, normal reverse I switch those I like my motors uh, spinning in the opposite direction um, I believe it keeps the lens cleaner and initially I started doing that for other aerodynamic purposes on other quads and I'm just trying to be consistent so that's what I did and then uh, you'll also notice I changed my uh, ESC endpoints to be 1000 2000 for all four of them stock was 1100 and 1850 and that's just using part of your ESC throttle range it'll still work You'll still go from zero. You'll, you know, when you match it up with uh, beta flight, you get low throttle, high throttle, but you're only using part of your ESC range. And why do that? So I, I maxed it out. Um, okay, that is BL Heli. Okay, now let's take a look at beta flight. So here's the changes I made in beta flight. Um, kind of a lot here. Okay, so this is, let's see, let's start from. The beginning you can see my accelerometer is off i disabled that um because my i increased my pid loop and gyro frequency and that raised the cpu load and it was up around 30 which is perfectly fine for beta flight 317 but i just wanted to reduce that a little bit and i don't use self level so i figured i might as well disable it so i disabled it um in the configuration i have multi-shot to match my esc protocol I separated the motor PW, PWM speed and I made it 8000. And I guess the uh, norm is to make it twice your uh, PID loop uh, f uh, frequency, so I went to 8000. Um, disarm motors regardless of throttle value means that when you disarm, you will fall out of the sky. What you can do is uncheck this, and what happens is as you're flying, uh, you're coming in the land, you disarm, you'll still fly until your throttle goes to zero. So as you come in the land, you disarm from 50 feet away or whatever, and when you get close to the ground, you just kill your throttle, and then you will disarm. Um, and I used to do that, but most of my quads are now set up to fall out of the sky, so I just want to make sure I do it the same way for all of them. Um, and when you first get it, you may want to calibrate your accelerometer by put, putting it on the table. Problem is it sits on this velcro strap. So if you have a box or something that really it doesn't involve the velcro strap um, And has it more level uh, Without something in the way that's a good way to calibrate the accelerometer um, And then you can see I have values in the accelerometer trim because at some point I, I did trim it uh, But then I, I turned it off so it doesn't matter and my Throttle ranges match closer to what I have in BL Heli my min throttle was smooth at 1050 So that's what I set it to and my max, uh, I just give a little bit of headroom, so it's at 1950. Um, gyro pid, pid looper 4K, 4K. Uh, and my modes, I have air mode turning on with the arm switch. I noticed this new anti-gravity mode, and I just turned it on all the time. I put it on a switch, but it's always on, so it doesn't matter what, where this, what the switch is set to. Um, PID tuning, I went a little bit backwards, I, I'm jumping around, but PID, PID tuning, I changed my PIDs just a little bit. I um, Filter settings, I turned off my notch filters, uh, and I, I again, balancing your props is very important for this, because if your props are out of whack, you fly around with these off, your motors will get hot. Um, I left the D-term filter on, uh, but I did change the filter type to PT1 from Biquad. Um, let's see, that's my PID tuning. I have my own rates, which is personal preference. I added a little bit more TPA. I added 0.2 at a throttle value of 1650. And this reduces the PID, throttle PID attenuation is what that is. So it reduces the strength of the PIDs as your throttle goes past this point. Um, and in CLI, let's take a look at the diff. Uh, anything important here? Map is right, whatever, serial, fail safe. I did check fail safe, and fail safe is in place. Minimax, battle match, what I set. 
um, multi shot, unsynced PWM. Let's see, auto arm this, auto disarm. So if I arm and I just, the quad just sits there after 60 seconds, seconds it'll disarm. Um, small angle 180 is, it, it came stock at 70. That means anything beyond 70 degrees, it will not arm. Which is safe, but if you're stuck in a tree, I like to be able to try to, this, you know, before climbing the tree or trying to get it down, I like to arm it and just try to get it to fly out or break the props or whatever. Break the props, no big deal. Um, but trying to climb a tree to get it out can be a big, big deal for somebody as old as me. Um, let's see. Air mode start throttle. I think I increased that because I don't want air mode starting until I'm almost halfway up the throttle when I take off. Um, let's see. What else did I do? to low pass type PT1 from by quad um, my PIDs I did change the set point weight um, rate profiles and TPA as I talked about okay that's fine so oh there's one other thing I did you have to enable expert mode and you go into adjustments and I added on aux 3 um, see you can so enabled channel aux 3 I increase the full range and I rate profile selection so that what you can do is in your PID tuning you can set up three different rate profiles and on my aux 3 switch so as I flip the switch my rates will change on the fly so if you want to race go through gates or whatever you can use lower rates if you want to do some freestyle you pump them up and you can do some crazy spins and you know rolls or whatever so I did put that on a switch that's kind of fun um, and that is about it these are all my changes including the slight mods i did uh, i will take the prop guard guards off and um probably try some different props so